Henkel He 176. The Henkel He 176 was a German rocket powered aircraft. It was the world's first aircraft to be propelled solely by a liquid fueled rocket, making its first powered flight on 20 June 1939 with Erich Warsitz at the controls. It was a private venture by the Henkel Company in accordance with director Ernst Henkel's emphasis on developing technology for high-speed flight. The performance of the He-176 was not spectacular, but it did provide proof of concept for rocket propulsion. All documents regarding the He-176 were destroyed during the war. The Warsitz biography suggests material is in the Soviet-slash-Russian archives. The often quoted performance data of the aircraft such as a speed reaching 750 km slash h or 800 km slash h in Warsitz's biography, as well as some of the drawings, are not based on sound documents. Only two true pictures of the He-176 have survived, which were probably taken in Peenemund during tests. Design and Development During the 1920s, German daredevils had experimented with using solid fuel rockets to propel cars, motorcycles, railway carriages, snow sleds, and, by 1929, aircraft such as Alexander Lepisch's Intend Fritz von Opel's RAK-1. Solid fuel rockets, however, have major disadvantages when used for aircraft propulsion, as their thrust cannot be throttled, and the engines cannot be shut down until fuel is exhausted. In the late 1930s, Wernher von Braun's rocketry team working at Peenemund investigated installing liquid-fueled rockets in aircraft. Henkel enthusiastically supported their efforts supplying He-72 and later two He-112s for the experiments. In early 1937, one of these latter aircraft was flown with its piston engine shut down during flight, at which time it was propelled by rocket power alone. At the same time, Helmuth Walter's experiments into hydrogen peroxide monopropellant-based rockets were leading towards light and simple rockets that appeared well-suited for aircraft installation, although at the price of considerable danger and limited duration. The He-176 was built to utilize one of the new Walter engines. It was a tiny, simple aircraft, built almost entirely out of wood but did possess an advanced, totally enclosed cockpit, with a frameless single-piece clear nose, through which the pilot's rudder pedal mounts were visible, and the landing gear was a combination of conventional and tricycle gear designs, with the main gear's struts intended to retract rearwards. The drawing here shows a flush glazing. There is no evidence this was actually used. A unique feature of the He-176 was its jettisonable nose escape system. Compressed air was used to separate the nose from the aircraft. A drogue chute was used to reduce the opening force required. After the drogue was deployed, the flush-fitting cockpit canopy was released, and a conventional pilot-slash-parachute bailout occurred. The basic design of the He-176 was sketched out during the new Hardenberg rocket motor and booster tests. According to Walter Kunzel, the He-176 project came into existence during the flight trials of the He-112 at New Hardenburg. It was a bold project for the time and involved numerous new problems. At this time, the term interceptor was being bandied about, and the He-176 was to be the research aircraft for the interceptor. In 1936, the RLM awarded Henkel the contract to build the world's first rocket aircraft. For the mock-up, Warsitz sat on a parachute with everything, everything else tailored around him, the idea being to build a small aircraft capable of speeds greater than 1,000 kilometers per hour, 620 mph. The greatest diameter of the fuselage was only 700 millimeters, 28 in. Overall surface area, including the fuselage, was 5 square meters, 54 sqft, with a 5 meters, 16 ft wingspan, a fuselage length of 5.5 meters 18 ft, a height with the undercarriage deployed at 1.44 meters 4.7 ft, and a wheelbase of 700 millimeters 28 ft. The elliptical wing had a wing sweep of 40% and a thickness of 9% at 90 millimeters 3.5 m. 
the wings contained the 82% hydrogen peroxide fuel. According to Warsitz, speaking of von Braun's cooperation during the tests of Penemund, although not technically part of the He-176 Vone project with the Walter rocket engine, naturally everything affecting it was of interest to himself and his colleagues, because the He-176 V2 was to have the von Braun engine. Warsitz describes the world's first manned rocket testing of the He-176 ended with only one aircraft being built. It was put on display at the Berlin Air Museum and was destroyed by an Allied bombing raid in 1943. Prior to the cancellation of the program, plans had been drawn up for a more sophisticated rocket plane, the hypothetical He-176 V-2. This was never constructed but because it bore the same designation as the aircraft that was actually flown. Many books and websites mistakenly publish pictures of it to illustrate its earlier namesake. This is primarily the post-war Gerd Human airbrush job and the basis for this is unknown. Germany did eventually fly an operational rocket-propelled fighter, the Alexander Lippisch designed Mi-163 Comet, but this was made by the competing Messerschmitt firm using an engine that was a further development of the one that powered the He-176. Specifications He-176 Vone Data from Henkel, an aircraft album general characteristics. Crew 1, Crew 1, Crew 1, 1, 1, Crew 1, Length 5.21 M17 FT1 in Wingspan 5.0 M16 FT5 in Height 1.435 M4 FT 8.5 in 5 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 in Wing area 5.4 in 258 SQFT Empty weight 900 kg 1985 LB Gross weight 1620 kg 3572 lb power plant 1x walter hwk roan minus 203 liquid fueled rocket engine 5.88 k and 1323 lbf thrust 50s burn time performance maximum speed 750 km h 466 mph 405 k and estimated cruise speed 710 km h 441 mph 383 km estimated range 109 km 68 mi 59 nmi service ceiling 9000 m 29500 ft rate of climb 60.6 m s 11930 ft slash min time to altitude 2.5 minutes to 8000 m 26000 250 FT, 